Now, I wanted to take a little bit of time to talk about the passing of Kevin Sullivan in, in detail. And we lost Kevin. Uh, he was in an accident earlier this year and apparently a, some sort of complication with a blood clot uh, took him away from us. But with Kevin Sullivan and his legacy, Kevin, I feel, is one of the most underrated people in professional wrestling. And I think it was more maybe of a time where you know, he hit a stride in the early 80s, right around when Hulkamania was just getting started. So everybody, I, I wouldn't say they missed the work in Florida that he did, but it was just at a time where it was just starting to get on cable TV and just rolling out. And then he did the work in WCW right before the NWO. So I think a, a lot of people really underestimate his impact in the industry. And of course, incredibly influential backstage in terms of his booking and working with people. And, you know, I really think that Kevin deserves much more of a place in pro wrestling history than I think some people in the modern day are willing to give him, uh, you know, it's, it's a tough day for everybody. And you can see that with everyone pouring out their condolences all over pro wrestling and Kevin's gone. Uh, Matt, do you feel like Kevin's career is a little bit underrated? Uh, I mean, I'll be perfectly honest. I, I didn't grow up with a lot of Kevin Sullivan. Like, like you said, for me, my first real memories of Kevin Sullivan's like the dungeon of doom, Hulk Hogan, WCW stuff. Like I didn't see a lot of his stuff in the eighties cause I was mainly a WWF kid. So I didn't see a lot of what he was doing until I was introduced to him in WCW. So I know him a lot more for his booking mind and what he's done behind the scenes for companies like WCW and whatnot during the Monday night wars than I do for him as an in-ring competitor. Um, but I mean, it's a, it's a generational thing, you know, like if I, I don't want to name, I don't want to name anybody specific, but let's say, just say wrestler X from WWE died tomorrow and they're an active, active WWE superstar right now, maybe have held championships in the past. There'd be a lot more outpouring of fan support for that wrestler because they're in this generation and there's something that everybody that's watching today knows and understands. I don't think a lot of people, I don't think a lot of the wrestling fans that are watching today grew up in the era that they were able to watch and appreciate what Kevin Sullivan brought to the industry. Ruben, uh, your thoughts on that? Yeah. I mean, it's, it is hard when you have people from previous generations and you don't see the work that they put in. Um, I liken this a lot to when a, a writer or a comedian dies that inspired a popular show that we like now. Um, oftentimes you'll see someone pass away and then all of your favorite writers will be like, I can't believe that this person I've never heard of passed away uh, because they were so good and prolific in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. But, uh, you know, the people who write The Simpsons now were fans of The Simpsons when they were kids. But the people who wrote The Simpsons when they were kids were inspired by the previous generation. And Kevin Sullivan is that for, you know, Diamond Dallas Page, Jake the Snake Roberts, William Regal, like these names that you still recognize, but they are a little bit older than the current generation. All of those people are pouring out condolences and you cannot help but recognize how they all talk about him. They talk about him with reverence and respect and understanding of who he was and where he came from. Um, he had a really unique career, uh, as a, you know, he, he had such a wide X axis of jobs and then tall, I'm sorry. Yeah. Tall Y axis of accolades in all of those careers. So it's a really unique career that we just don't really talk about because most of it happened in the, you know, eighties and nineties, uh, and sort of not not on the same echelon or on the same television shows uh, as some of our favorites. So, uh, you know, but you, when you think about people who are like your favorite wrestlers, favorite wrestler, Kevin Sullivan's one of those names that will always come up. Yeah. I remember when I first started watching wrestling um, in the early eighties and picking up copies of pro wrestling illustrated and the wrestler. And I opened the magazines and here's this, 
crazy devilish kind of dude down in Florida doing all this crazy stuff. And I was like, oh my God, this, this might be the scariest man on the planet. You would just read all the stories and see the pictures. And then all of a sudden, one of my cable networks picked up Florida championship wrestling. So I got to see some of Kevin's work down there. And you know, it was, it was just, it was so far ahead of its time. I mean, and people were so scared of him. I mean, and they were, they were doing stuff in parking lots and, you know, threatening him and just being, uh, you know, he, he had that character down and people were highly influenced by what Kevin did. And, you know, so many stars over the years have gone down that supernatural route. And I think Kevin was the one that truly opened that up. He really did. And, you know, and then, of course, he did the Dungeon of Doom thing with Hulk Hogan and was working behind the scenes so much with WCW. But Kevin was just an absolute genius when it came to professional wrestling. And he is absolutely going to be missed. And uh, I see uh, some comments in the chat box, by the way. Uh, Coach Rosie is here and said Kevin Sullivan had a great podcast. Yes, he did. Fascinating stuff. Incredible stories from Kevin. But I would tell everybody, I don't know. I, I can't remember if WWE has the Florida Championship Wrestling um, archives. Mm. I'd have to I'd have to double take a look on that. But if you can go back and watch that. And I really, Kevin was one of the ones that helped bring Dusty Rhodes to national prominence, too, because that feud yeah. was known all over the country. I mean, people were just raving over that one. So, you know, he did some wild stuff. I just, and I had just seen a clip with him in a promo with um, Captain Cactus Jack and Buzz Sawyer. That was just ridiculous. Kevin was at his finest. So I know a lot of people will be missing Kevin, and we'll look forward to, you know, seeing how uh, any arrangements and everything. But you know, having helped family out certainly isn't going to hurt. Hey there, Adventure Seeker. Ready to unlock incredible hotel deals? Get a free membership and save up to 50%. Stay grand. Spend less. The simplest site. The best unpublished hotel deals. TheTravelShark.com